Here we have a screw hole or screw channel about number seven of our full arch prosthesis. And I want to explain a couple of these control points here. So here we have uh, control points or nodes around our screw hole. And you'll notice, like our snap to gingiva circles for emergence profiles and abutment bottoms, we have a circle here with a dot in the middle. And that is grouping these nodes all together. What I'd like to do is add a node right here, but when I click on the border, it doesn't add a point, as you can see. When I hold the control button and click, a node gets added. So if I want to add a node here, I hold control and click. If I can see the screw channel. So we'll bring that above the prosthesis and hold control and click. So that's how we add nodes. We have control arrows just like our custom abutment borders and we can widen a selected area of our screw channel based on the node. If we zoom out a little bit And now I ungroup these nodes. This is the selected node. And now I'm going to move up. You can see that only that node moves up. If I click the circle with the dot in the middle, now it becomes just a circle. These two nodes are now grouped together. I can move them together. If I want to customize areas of my screw channel. So that's a quick tip. If you need to further define your anatomy of a screw channel, typically I am just going to snap to the anatomy and snap them all so that my screw channels are basically flush with my prosthesis or my restoration. But here you can add certain customizations where part of the screw channel uh, may be above the restoration and other parts may be uh, flush with the restoration. You might use that in a case where the screw channel doesn't go right through a tooth. Maybe it goes in between the teeth and you need to form your screw channel accordingly. So that's a quick tip for further defining your screw channel border.